this is a six and a half inch saw. That's the model number. Six and a half inch. Um, there's plenty of YouTube reviews. I heard uh, it has great battery life. But right off the bat, I noticed the dust collection is not there. See, there's no dust collection port. So I, I'm probably not going to keep this saw. But uh, it has all the bells and whistles, all the shoe height cutting adjustment. And angle adjustment. And you push it down to pull the trigger. Otherwise, it is locked and secure. It has the um, electronic brake as well. Stops quickly. Very, very quickly. So that's a great safety feature. However, I already got this monster saw already a couple of weeks ago, and I love it. It's seven and a quarter inch. It has this nice dust port that uh, that would uh, you know direct all the dust on this side. As you can see, uh, this one is brushless. This one is brushed, and it appears to be longer. this one has the brushed model is so this is not a uh, part of the seven tool kit it's uh, five seven zero and uh, it's very strong and works uh, very well extremely well so they're on the opposite sides I would have another different uh, review on this one probably later and I have a battery analysis of how much battery it takes uh, for each cut. Uh, spoiler alert, it's uh, 0.1 volts per cut of about 20 inches. Impact driver, DCF885. Brushed model, very, very lightweight. I love it. There is no speed switch. Variable speed trigger. There's no adjustment. So the brushed mo mode. And we have a brush brushless model, uh, 887. With the speed selection here. I got a magnet, very strong magnet attached to the belt clip and where you can store your bits, your screws while you're working. And this is also a magnet bit holder. And this one is part of the 7 tool kit. It feels the sound is louder than the 887 and it actually feels stronger than the brushless mode, model. And based on my previous test, I think this one gives more heat. It gets pretty warm with um, if I just run it for a couple of minutes. So I think the um, the brushed mode model 885 perhaps indeed draws more battery, consumes more power to achieve the same amount of torque. I may make a, uh, another video just for these two guys. Okay, very comfortable. It's about the same size. As you can see, it's it, it, it smells very good somehow from the motor inside. It blows a lot of uh, air through these vents so i like it a lot dcd 796 
the hammer drill. It is a beast. I bought this one separately. That's the Atomic Impa uh, Compact Series 708. But this one comes from the kit. This one is much better. Let's see. Maybe I'll make another video about these two drills. Um, this one too, totally lacks of uh, power and torque. This one on speed one, this one on speed one is like this. And if you go to speed two of the Atomic series, it's not much improvement. But this speed one feels stronger than the speed two here. And if you go to speed two, that's really, that's where it really shines. It's like crazy. And this chuck keeps spinning after I let go of the trigger. See, there is no comparison, see? This thing is a beast. Get this, and I'm gonna probably return this or sell this. Yeah, if I even go to the four amp battery on the Atomic, it makes no difference. See, it's still like this on the second gear and this one on 2 amp battery. DCG 412 grinder, four and a half inch. And you got your blade guard. One complaint I have is that this uh, blade changing wrench is not stored in the tool itself. But anyway, uh, I've heard lots of good things about it. Um, very seems to be a very capable brushed version. And there's a push in and out uh, safety switch. Unlike the six and a half inch saw, circular saw, where you have to push it down to unlock. So this is a bit different. I've been, I have been rocking this Ryobi corded version for a, quite a while and I finished my bathroom tiles with it using this diamond blade. And I attached a jig. I would put something like this and insert the tool. And there you go, a great cutting guide. This sander is a beast. It's just amazing. Brush, brushless tool, very long runtime. I'll probably do a more detailed review about this model. Uh, DCW210. that electronic brake stopped quickly and this tile is just a pleasure to use yeah I'm looking forward to use this sander in all my wood project it's just amazing amazing Locks in place. I used to have a corded Rio V1 that uh, it has very poor design in dust collection port, doesn't do well, and it, it may even push all the way in. And you know, uh, it just does a very poor job of doing dust collection on my Rio V1. As you can see, there are plenty of uh, looks like a fan blade or something that uh, would help with the dust collection brushless motor love it love it
So this is my one of my favorite tool here. Very lightweight, ergonomic. Again, so comfortable to hold. And let's take out the battery. The blade changing is such a easy task on this model. And there's an LED light. Amazing. And we got three speed selection. Amazing. Again, we have a push in locking mechanism for a safety switch. And it stands up upright. How cool is that? Usually I would lay my tool down here, but this one you just <laughs> such a great design, right? Brushless motor. And the number is DCS356. Okay, the next up, the flashlight. Well, you call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is probably one of the cheapest to a wall, but somehow has tremendous amount of functionality here. The flashlight. What I don't like about it is that it has a very, very bright hot spot in the, in the center that, you know, just feels very uncomfortable to look at. However, for 10 bucks on Amazon, you can definitely get, get a better flashlight um, and a smaller. But this one uses the same kind of battery if you have uh, lots of these uh, 2 amp or 4 amp battery lying around that you don't use. It's a good way to cycle through your battery and help them prolong the lifespan of your uh, batteries. And also it has this uh, tilting head which is extremely useful when you're working under a sink or uh, doing your plumbing work in very tight space. Uh, it, unless you build some kind of uh, stand for this little flashlight, this one is a godsend, <laughs> right? When you have this articulating, uh, very positive stop angle adjustments and this little hook, it rattles a little bit. Let me turn it off and turn on my LED light. As you can see, if I press this down, if I shake it, you can sort of hear the battery rubbing against this um, area, creating this noise, which does not happen on the other tools. So it's kind of a flimsy design but it is quite functional. A little bit here, but it's just a lot more obvious on this battery um, compartment in the flashlight model. Otherwise, I like it. If you're the Walt fan, it definitely deserves a place in your tool collection, but I'm not sure if I would buy it separately unless it's in this seven tool kit or in other tool kits. Let's wrap a piece of uh, plastic around it, use rubber bands. And then there's no more hot spot. And this is a very, very even lighting area. And as you can see, that's, that's a huge difference. Let me take, it, take this off. Right? This is very harsh to your eyes. And with this simple solution, you can just basically use uh, any plastic and it will act like a diffuser and wrap around the head. Such a big difference.
and that's my solar powered wise camera setup outside check out my youtube video about this setup and build process i have a kilowatt power meter plugged in the battery is at two bars about 75 percent and it's doing more than 80 watts output the output uh, amperage is four this is a good value we have this very cool box do not throw away accessories inside they should have better packaging <laughs> it's just not so obvious 18 teeth and we have lots of user manuals this is a great box it's, it's this yellow rubber stuff is a watertight seal right and these are for connecting other tough system boxes we got a handle here and two handle on each side and this is the model number of this kit It definitely increases the value of the entire kit by including this tough system. Very well designed. These latches are very well made, although it's plastic. These are all metal. Put a lock here. Yeah, I'm very happy with this box, actually. I love it a lot. This one thing you should notice that uh, when you open the lid, it automatically pushes the handle here backwards. Probably want to fold the blade like this to save space, right? will save more space by removing the handle. Yeah, we have plenty of room left, you know after loading all my tools. Thanks. If you like my review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.